What's up, middle school band? Uh, here I am again at your place of homage. I, that's not really a word. Uh, anyway, I'm going to do things a little bit different this week. Uh, last week it was very difficult to get these huge files of the videos uploaded and then onto your flash drives and all kinds of things. So uh, I'm going to try to make them a little bit shorter. Instead of breaking it up so that I have a woodwind, a brass and percussion, which was ideal, but it was just too much to put on uh, those flash drives to you guys. I'm going to put all junior high lessons in this video. So take the parts you need uh, and then kind of skip over the parts you don't, but uh, two things to get you set up. One, you're going to be on that uh, pause button. Okay, so as I introduce something to you, I want you to stop, write in if you need to write something in, uh, shadow through it, try to play through it, and then the tempo that I take when I play through these things is the tempo that I'd like you to try to achieve. You can always go faster, please go slower, uh, but if you can kind of hang with me at my tempo and be, and be successful at that, then we can move forward, okay? I need you to also, the second thing is uh, make a date with your instrument. Um, we have the opportunity, that was opportunity and possibility <laughs> put together. We have the opportunity to come back from this homeschooling time and, and actually be better on our instruments, but that's totally up to you. Um, spending a little bit of time here and there, okay? You have the time now. Are you going to choose to be better at, as a student? Are you going to choose to make some time? That's up to you. I hope you do. Um, your full-time job is being a student. So spend some time with me. Spend some time on your instrument. Um, and if you want to have a lesson during, like a Zoom lesson, I just had one with a, a sixth grader, you can uh, contact me and we'll do that if you have the capabilities. If not, this is what we got. Okay? So uh, I'm going to go through a few things for you today. Uh, we're going to warm up on number 40 in the book. All right? Uh, now, number 40 has a couple different things going on. So I'm going to do the first one, kind of like last week. Uh, I'm going to do, so the clarinet, I'm going to start with you. Uh, and then maybe we'll do a saxophone one and maybe uh, a brass one uh, because that's kind of how it's, how it's matched up. So if you're a flute or a clarinet, uh, this one's kind of for you. Um, and of course, I didn't bring my clarinet book. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the top notes, clarinets. Uh, in my book here, uh, it has both the low ones and the high ones. So the low ones we can do all day long. Please practice through those, but I'm going to take the high ones. So this should match up with flutes. Flutes and clarinets, you're up, you're up first. <gasps> Metronome, what am I doing? Let's take this and put it on 80. There we go. Alright, so if you're taking the top notes clarinets, we're starting on a high C. Our key signature is good. Nothing weird there. Concert B flat major. Everyone can play along. This is for mostly flutes and clarinets. One, two, three. through it slowly. There's some funky fingerings in there. We've got a D flat, same as a C sharp. That's like a D, and then your outside, there we go, outside top one, not the inside, outside. So you go from your long C, it's up and out for the C sharp or the D flat. Uh, flutes, you've got a, a D flat as well. So be careful on that one that's a C sharp and harmonic. So it's not a D natural, it's a D flat, okay? D flat is just the pinky, just the right hand pinky. And uh, so that's the same as a C sharp, N harmonic. Remember, N harmonic means different names for the same exact instrument. All right, so this one, uh, I'm gonna go through, uh, oh, I, I just still need a saxophone. Saxophones, this one's for you. Uh, for my altos, and it actually still works for Barry as well. One sharp. One, oh sorry, yeah, <laughs> one, two, alto saxophone. We'll do that one more time. 
more time because I did the wrong partial. Uh, if you were playing with that, it sounded probably like good harmony, but this is, that was not actually correct. I'm going to start down here. That's what I get for uh, sight reading. I'm trying to do that. <laughs> Transposing. One more time, saxophones. Two, three. Uh, Keeping it alive, trumpets, this is actually yours. Okay, so this is trumpet, trombone, baritone, and tuba. Okay, all my brass can do this one. And it's all lip slurs. Ta so we're gonna slow it down to like 65. So um, every measure except for the last one has the same finger in slide position. The first measure for my trumpets and trombones, excuse me, trumpets and uh, baritones, all open. Second measure, two. Third measure, one. Fourth measure, one and two. Fifth measure, back up to one. Last measure, two, 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 one, open. Okay, uh, Ezra, for, for bone, first position, measure, measure one, first position, measure two, second. Measure three, third. Measure four, fourth, kind of how that works out. Measure five, we're back to third position again. And the last measure for you trombones uh, is two, 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 three, one. All right. So don't tongue them. Just ta. We do this exercise all the time. Two and three and. <laughs> So watch that last measure. Otherwise, it's all face. It's all face. I would probably do that slower. Ta -da 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 before I sped it up. All right, all right. So that's number 40, our warm-up. Uh, percussion, though. Percussion. Yours is actually going to be um, one of the accelerators in the back of the book. Okay, the back of the book has the accelerators. Remember, if you have the full book, it's the green stuff. Page 40, number 3. Now, don't make fun of my... Uh, <laughs> my setup here to try to stay in frame a little bit without backing up I'm going to play sitting down so you can deal with that right so percussion number thir three for you everyone else can uh, kind of move on to the next thing if you want to fast forward okay percussion you're with me number three in the accelerators is a skeleton measure like a primary strokes and then the following measure is uh, where we actually have it with the rolls okay so this is yours. Uh, let's put it on 80. 80. 80. Zero. Here it is. One, two, ready, and. All right, so all the, the quarter notes with the rolls over them, remember they're going to be four sixteenths with the double strokes. So anytime you have a quarter note, with, we're breaking it down into fours with the double strokes. Okay, so that second measure, the first and second measure are the same thing. They should feel the same, just the second measure has the double strokes. So the first measure, second measure. Okay, it's just doubled. Now take that, do it slower, maybe a little slower because it's tough to do slow rolls. And then speed it up. Try to get it. Get that, 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 that. See if you can get it up that uh, to that speed, but careful of your stick height. Okay. Now everyone is back. Are you back? Are you back? We're back. Uh, so the next thing I have assigned is number forty-one, that chromatic capers. Okay. So we're gonna do. We're doing kind of a little bit of going back here. Uh, flutes, I'm with you on this one. So this is one we can all play together. Uh, percussion, 
you have a whole bunch of single drag taps. Now remember that a drag, my computer just turned off. Yeah, we're good. Uh, the drag is a lot like a, a flam, but it has a double stroke at the beginning. So dig it out. Double in one hand, single in the other. Dig it out. So you have a whole bunch of those with a tap after them. All right, let me see if I can get my armature rolling today. Okay, so careful on this one, friends. Uh, chromatic, remember, means every every half note. We talked about that last week. Um, oh, we talked about this last week, so it should, just, should be good. Let's see what happens. 80 beats a minute. There we go. Tongue each one. And one, two, ready. That's too fast. Obviously, slow it down. Uh, one thing, if, you, if yours is not sounding like mine is, um, be careful of a couple things. Check your key signature. Okay, we've got A flats, uh, B flats, and E flats for my uh, non-transposing peeps. So be careful of that. Uh, and then we also have some things like remember that a G sharp on a trumpet is the same as an A flat. That's the two three combination. Okay. Uh, for trombone, like I said last week, it should be three two one five four. That's your first five notes. Uh, so chromatic capers is, is, is a good one. Get used to seeing those written different ways. <clears throat> I was going to have something else to say, but maybe not. Uh, while I'm in the middle here, just because you guys know what's up, I don't want to take too much time, but real quick, hara, 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 there it is. First thing off, four-letter word, percentage of conversation among college students that includes curse words, 8%. So 8% of college conversations include curse words. Speaking of parents and things like that, percentage of adult conversations involving a curse word, 13%. So, got that going for you. <laughs> All right, two more things. Um, play, hold on, check, play, percussion. Oh, okay. So, I'm going to play along number 42, Shannon Doe, see how you guys are doing with that. And uh, percussion, I'm going to have you guys play it too. Let me just double check that. Okay. So, one time through... I'm going to play it on bone today. and Oh, you know what? Actually, no. I played it last time for you. So percussion, I'm going to play this with you. Everyone else, you can play along with us. So this is number 42, Shenandoah. Keep in mind that we have a pickup note, and we have a couple time changes in here, but everything's over the uh, quarter note, so it should be just keep the pulse. Ta, ti, ti, ta. <clears throat> ti, 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 ta, ta. All right, nothing too crazy. Three beats and you're in. So everyone else can play along. Snare drums, we're going with it too. Oh, one, two, three. Oh, oh my gosh, I played it wrong already. I looked at the wrong line. Whatever, no edits, no edits. One, two, three. All right, so at the end there, percussionist with a with the half, dotted half note uh, roll with a fermata over it. That's maybe one where we're not going to open it up. We're not doing a rudimental roll. We're doing that's an open roll. We're going to do a closed smush multiple bounce stroke roll. Let me get my my angle better here for that. Just so remember that we're just kind of squishing. There we go. Yay, yay. Okay, 
moving ahead as fast as I possibly can. Last thing, number 43. So percussion, this one is not for you. You guys are going to actually look at um, accelerator number 16. Okay, on page 40, and I'll do that right after this. All right, so percussion, you guys are going to Accelerator on page 40, number 16. Uh, everyone else, you're with me. So, Symphony number 94 by Franz Josef Haydn. I'll play a trumpet. <clears throat> this guy has a lot of things going on. The first measure has eighth notes with eighth rests and staccato quarter notes, which are not quite the same. And if I had a lot more time, we would talk about the difference. But basically, we're looking for some separation. Staccato notes, remember, should almost sound like a snare drum. An eighth note followed by an eighth rest. Ta, 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 the difference. Staccato. Ta, 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 eighth rest. Ta, ta, ta. Okay, so if I did four notes in a row, Here's the eighth rest. Here's staccato. Okay, so you should hear the difference there. So here's symphony, the theme from it, from Franz Josef Haydn. Uh, everything is quiet. So let's try it. 80 beats a minute again. And uh, one, two, three. So you only get that one place in that second to last measure where there's that legato, smooth, slurred section. Okay, so everything else besides that and the half notes are all staccato or an eighth note with an eighth rest. So the, the challenge to you musicians is can you play the difference between a staccato note and an eighth note with an eighth rest? Staccato will be as short as you possibly can get it. Eighth note, eighth rest, a little longer but still with separation after it. All right, so my wind people, you are, you are done for the second. If you want to hang and figure out some percussion stuff with us, that's cool. Uh, keep in mind, everybody, if you want to have a Zoom lesson with me or something like that, we can do that. Uh, so get a hold of me if you can, and uh, we'll, we'll have some more information coming out about the whole end of the year thing. I don't know yet either. All right, but last thing, percussion, accelerators, number 16. The, this is basically what's called a long roll. We're going to start with half notes and then quarter notes. 8th notes, 16th notes, 16th notes doubled, and then roll, crush the roll, a closed roll, follow, and then we kind of reverse that on the way out. All right? All right, so. All right. I don't know what tempo this is. That's going to be our tempo. Last thing we do, y'all. I miss you guys so much. Be cool, all right? Spend some time with me. One, two, number 16, and half note. No, no, no. Turn my snare on. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. Watch your sticking. One, and two, and three. Repeat. Sixteen. Feels like forever, right? Be patient. Half notes. Two, three, four. One, two, three. Last measure. One, two, three, four. Peace. All right, guys. Uh, one band, one sound. I'll see you soon, whether it's in this kind of format or actually in person. I miss you all so much. Take care.